So learning how to program has just gotten a whole lot easier and I'm gonna tell you how, but first let's get into why learning to program is just so hard in the first place. Now, one of the big things is the programming books are highly theory based. There's not really a lot to do. Like most people who want to learn programming, they want to jump in, they wanna write some code, but your average programming course is just gonna start with a hello world and then you're gonna do nothing until you have built up enough foundational knowledge to actually program something. And this is kind of by design. The cliff between writing a hello world and writing absolutely anything of value is huge. And then there's the programming books. They're boring. They are pretty much just textbooks. I actually could not make my way through an entire programming book. I have tried multiple times and it's just so boring. And again, it's also the lack of practicality. There's very little real world examples or any practical exercises. It's just mountains and mountains of theory, which goes back to the first problem. Then on top of that, there's not really anyone there to ask your questions to. You might have a misunderstanding about something and then you find yourself going over to Reddit or Stack Overflow only to in three hours later receive some kind of response that just says, oh, this question has already been answered. Why don't you head over to this link and check out the answer? And of course you head over to the link and it's explained in a way that maybe you don't really understand. Like it, it just doesn't work for you. And you have follow-up questions, but it's someone else's thread. You don't want to uh, get in there and hijack the thread. So you find yourself a little bit lost and it would have been a lot helpful to just have someone there that you could have asked and then ask your follow-up questions too. Well, funny enough, there actually is. Now, while I was playing around with ChatGPT, I noticed it was not very good at writing code, but what I did notice is it's very good at explaining it. Essentially, it's a language model. It understands the relationship between language, be it speaking languages or programming languages. So it is actually very, very powerful when it comes to learning to program. And I'm gonna run through a couple of my favorites for someone who's just basically starting out. Now, first up is my absolute favorite. It's explain this in non-programmer terms. Like one of the biggest problems with learning to program is a lot of articles just assume you know all the terminology. They'll start talking about operators and assignments and you don't know what any of those words mean. So one question you can ask ChatGPT is just to explain any concept in a way that is aimed at non-programmers. Then to kind of augment that, you also have the explain it like I'm five, explain it in simpler terms. And that's kind of useful if the explanation it gives is still a little bit complicated and you wanna break it down a bit more. Now, another one I really like is can you explain this in different terms, which is something I struggled with when I was learning programming. Uh, an explanation just felt like it wouldn't make sense or it just didn't make sense to me and I wanted a different explanation and it's kind of hard just going down Google search result by search results looking for like that explanation that finally works for you whereas with ChatGPT you can just keep asking it to re-explain the concept in different ways until you kind of land on an explanation that just works for you. Now two really really powerful queries I found are can you comment this code or break this code down line by line? Now they're much of the same. The commenting the code is gonna be a little shorter and a little less verbose. Whereas breaking it down line by line, it is actually gonna go through each line of code and give you a detailed explanation of how that works. And uh, if there's like a certain line that isn't explained fully enough, you can actually just paste the line back in and then ask, hey, can you uh, can you elaborate on this or can you expand on this? Here's an example I did with C++ operators. The term operator is quite confusing. It's not really clear what they do at first. So I asked ChatGPT to explain this operator. And probably one of the coolest things here is this is really, really difficult to do with Google. And the reason for that is Google doesn't understand symbols. When you're learning programming, one of the biggest hurdles you're going to come into is the fact that Google just doesn't deal with symbols well and programming has a lot of symbols. So if you actually try and look up what certain symbols do, you won't get results because Google simply just ignores the symbols in the query. 
whereas ChatGPT doesn't. Another one I like is, can you give me an exercise to do? You can basically tell it a bit about your skill level and then ask it to generate exercises to do based on your skill level. And then on the flip side, you can actually paste in your code and ask it, what is wrong with this code? Or can you explain this code? Or can you uh, do this to this code? And most of the time it is gonna work. Now I do recommend being careful because ChatGPT is not made for programming. So it's gonna be wrong occasionally and you're gonna want to not rely on it too heavily. You can use it to learn things, but then you should definitely be cross-checking them with other resources because it's not gonna be 100%. It's not gonna be accurate all the time. Maybe it doesn't understand some concepts, but it's a lot better than searching Stack Overflow or Reddit to see if someone has answered your question before and it's been answered in a way that you understand. Now, my recommendation for someone learning is to find some kind of book. Now, I said I don't like books, and that is true, but if you use the book to augment your learning, it works a lot better, because then you can do the practical side and you can have the book for reference. So I recommend getting a book and just reading down it, going through the terms one by one, and then getting ChatGPT to generate an exercise based on whatever thing the book is teaching you. And that kind of combines the practicality of actually writing code with the boringness of theory. And then you can have like a bit of fun and actually feel like you're getting somewhere. Because it depends on the language, but some languages that can range between months or even years before you actually know enough to program anything. Uh, like one of the first languages I learned was C and C is notoriously hard. It's a very unforgiving language. It's very easy for things to crash or break in ways which you just don't understand how to fix. So me trying to learn enough to write my own code was such a steep cliff because it's just like, I would make the tiniest of mistakes and the entire code just wouldn't work and I wouldn't know why, which is why I basically went to refactoring other people's code because you start off with the working code and then you can trial and error your way through it. And then as it breaks, you know what fixes it because you had the working code to compare it to. So you can get an idea of what breaks and why. And it's a very good way to kind of learn programming in a practical manner, because as much as like there are good books out there, but for me, that just really didn't work. I just got bored of it and I, I needed to have like an actual practical example. So I recommend just giving ChatGPT a try as your own personal teaching assistant. Just come up with some queries, have a little bit of a play around and you'll probably find it's a lot better than Reddit or Stack Overflow. It's not gonna be the be all end all. I've already kind of made videos debunking a lot of the claims that ChatGPT is gonna replace programmers or it's gonna allow uh, non-skilled hackers to write amazing pieces of malware. But it is actually very, very useful as a learning resource. So I hope you find this helpful and I hope it kind of answers some of your questions about learning to program and helps you get there just that little bit faster.